I didn't know anything really about um, the games that took place, apart from the fact that in the summer I'd gone out with one of the nurses that helped me take me out round to the back of the hospital and a whole lot of foreign people as well as British people were doing a wheel pass and um, they'd had a competition. They'd had in fact what were called in those days the International Stoke Mandeville Games. And they were, I found out they were held every year in uh, I think it was August, September every year. So um, I went home for Christmas um, armed with my set of, of arrows and a bow and all my baskets that I'd made and um, I thought right I've got to have a look around for an archery club and we lived in a small village near in between Preston and Southport and um, there was an archery club in Preston so my dad used to drive me once a week to this little club and they were very kind to me, they helped me because they had to spring the bow for me and help me with the arrows and so on and this was what I was doing, my archery, in fact my father was a market gardener and uh, we had um, land at, at the back and he got a big bale of straw and I uh, got a target and I used to do a bit of practicing um, this straw bale and uh, then I was invited to come back to Stoke Mandeville to what they call the National Stoke Mandeville Games and I did quite well there and won this, uh, it wasn't the top archery class but it was a middle round called the Columbia round. I think we shot the 60 yards was the furthest. And um, I took part in all these things because in those days we used to have a go at everything. We used to do field events and, and swimming and so on. So I went home and then a few weeks later, to my surprise, I got this letter saying You've been invited to be in the team, well, I've been selected actually to be in the team to go to Rome um, in uh, August. And as well, this was of course very exciting. So um, I agreed, I would like to do it, to go, and at the appropriate time we all had to assemble at Stoke Mandeville in the hospital. So we were given a, a green tracksuit and a blazer, green blazer, and a, I think when we had a Panama hat as well. And um, the next day, I think it was, I think we were all given a medical exam, that's right. And then the next day we all were ready and we were going off to the airport. So we had to be lifted, I think I was, there were 70 people in the team. We all had to be lifted into the coaches, our wheelchairs folded, cushions stowed, and this took time. We had some marvellous escorts who worked very, very hard. And off we went to the airport, same thing happened. Out of the coaches, all lifted again, the wheelchairs found, and um, there was the plane, we were taken onto the, um, what do you call it, onto the runway. And um, again, we had to, four at a time, into this wire cage on a forklift truck, up to the door of the plane, again, lifted in, put in the seats, and off we went to Rome. Tell us about your, um, the medal that you won. Right, well, I happened to be in this Columbia Round Archery, which was the first of the archery events. And um, so it was, I think, the first event of, that, of the first day. And we went off and we all sat, the ladies and the men, all together 
in one long line, and um, uh, there was a, a, an escort for each target, and we shot our six arrows, and then all these what seemed like hundreds of little people seemed to rush to the targets, and they wrote down our scores, and um, they knew because each arrow has a different coloured fletching, and they brought back the arrows, but they didn't actually tell us that what our scores were, and I did vaguely know that I was doing quite well. Anyway, we got to the end of the, of the competition, and again, we got our arrows back. We didn't get scores, so I had no idea what my score was, and later on I realised you had to have a scorebook of your own and put your scores down, but um, I hadn't done it. So I just went off then and joined all my other friends and went to support everyone else because we supported each other in the different events. And the day went on and we were put onto the coaches to go home and somebody said, where's Mark Moore? She's needed for a medal ceremony. So they had to find my wheelchair amongst all the others, lift me out, and off we went. A very nice little podium with ramps to get up to the first, second and third places. And to my amazement, I was in the gold medal position. And um, they played the national anthem, God Save the Queen. And an important Italian official presented me with my medal. And this was, I found, I didn't know at that stage, that it turned out that that was the first medal that Great Britain had won on that day. Fantastic. <laughs> so it's gone down in history. Just lucky that I happened to be in the first event of the, of the first day.